Hello, welcome to SICK's Detroit Customer Center. I'm Nick Longworth, a senior robotics engineer with SICK. This is part of a series of short videos where we are focusing on key challenges in bin picking applications when using SICK's PLB product. PLB is SICK's state-of-the-art 3D bin picking software. It has many algorithms and 3D camera types to choose from to solve all bin picking applications. Be sure to check out the rest of our videos. Today, we're going to be looking at a connecting rod using the surface algorithm. So this is our part. Uh, the surface algorithm is our CAD matching software. And so when you're working with a CAD matching software, you really want to make sure you have a lot of good 3D features. If you have a flat surface like the top of a box or an ingot, it, the surface matching might not be the, the best way to go about that. Uh, we do have other algorithms that would work for that, but you'll have to look at some other videos for that. Uh, when it comes to this part, uh, we have a lot of good 3D features here. We have this nice ridge. We have circles. This is, um, you know, a lot of features here, here. Uh, the one, the things I would want to avoid on here uh, are up here and down here. There's just not a lot of data there. Um, it's something that could be false, a false match. Uh, so I'm going to make sure that I'm looking mainly from the top here and, uh, you know, tilting from there. And then maybe from this side, like here. And that works really well for this application because uh, in, in the case of these, you know, they're going to mainly sit flat or slightly tilted. And then as you work your way down, gravity is really going to pull them down. Um, if, if one ever gets stuck up like this, you'll be able to see this as well. So uh, let's take a look at the software. So when we jump in the software here, I've brought in my CAD, my CAD file, which is a step or an IGIS file. Um, once I go into the software, my class here, I'm going to be using limited tilt. What that means is I'm looking at the part from this top surface um, or the bottom surface here. I'm not looking at it from the sides or the back or the front. So the camera is mainly going to see it like this with some tilt to it, 30 degrees, 40 degrees, something like that. Um, from there, I'm going to look at my geometry. And so this is probably the key challenge with this part. This is a pretty easy part that we're working on here. Um, but if you don't set this symmetry axis, uh, if you don't check this box and set it up on the x-axis, if the software see thinks it sees the part from below, you're going to end up with a collision error on the software. Um, it, it basically, what will happen is it will try to make a pick point here, and you're upside down, so it has no way to really tell. Uh, by checking this, you're basically saying that the part from this angle can be flipped upside down or right side up, and we're still good to go. So that's the main thing here. Um, beyond this, I've set the result order to highest Z value. That means that I'm going to be searching for the topmost part. I also have my pick poses that everything's going to default to the highest most pick pose. That way I'm going for the top thing in the bin. PLB is going to first localize based on those. And then it's going to check an overlap. Um, I don't have to worry about too much overlap with this part. It, they're pretty loosely oriented, and if they kind of bump into each other, it's not too big a deal with this part. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to bring my gripper in. Uh, key things in bin picking. Make sure you have long fingers. Those are very helpful in bin picking. Uh, so I have a long extension. Long fingers helps me get to the bottom of the bin. Got a lot of pick poses that will help me clear my entire bin. Um, I'm basically considering this a cast part, not a finished part, because I'm grabbing on what would be machine surfaces. So this would be a very good thing for a casting. Um, again, I've set my order of priority to topmost pick pose, and PLB is going to calculate collision settings. So basically, I look at the bin walls, I look at the parts that are around the part I'm looking to pick, and I evaluate if my gripper is going to crash into anything. That's all calculated there. So from that, we're going to take a look at our program we've created. So it's going to move to analyze mode here. We'll take an image. This is our scanning ruler. It's our PLB 500 product. Uh, it's laser triangulation. The It's very good for, for uh, larger bins, larger parts. Uh, has a IP65 rating, so it can handle a lot of different environments. Uh, very good with ambient light as well. So it's going to give me a very clear image. Uh, so once I've taken this image, I'm going to localize the bin. Give me a good bin localization, so I can move this bin wherever I want in the volume of view. 
And then I'm going to run through what PLB is going to do. It's going to localize the part. It's going to give us a whole bunch of information on why it's found that specific part. From there, it's going to look for overlaps. So there's a little bit of overlap on this part, but it's still pickable. And lastly, it's going to look for collision. And so that part, we're not going to get a very good part uh, pick point to use on that. It would collide into a lot of things. So I'm going to look at the next one here. Still not a good one. Try one more. And one more here. So this one should have a point that might be usable. Either way, if I click all steps, it's going to find a part that can work for me. And so you see all these points are zero. So from there, we're going to go ahead and run the robot. And the robot will kick PLB into run mode. There's no reason to ever have to go into the software during production. And it will go ahead and start picking parts. So again, this is our PLB 500. It's using laser triangulation. You'll see it's taking an image while the robot's off doing other tasks. That way we can vary that cycle time in the background. And again, it's using the surface algorithm. We do have other algorithms for different applications. Uh, this just works well for this particular application. In addition, we are actually running two jobs here. Uh, the second job is running in the background, but the part is set up on its side instead of flat. I hope everyone's enjoyed this demonstration. If you would like your product to be featured in one of our videos, or if you would like more information on the PLB product, please use the contact information on your screen. Have a great day.